Namaste, hello and welcome back to another video on Hamsa Vahini Vajastra. I'm Ohana and this video is going to be about uh, my summer reading project update. Now there are two summer reading projects. I'll be talking about one of them over here so that I, I can be crystal clear about all that I'll be reading so far. So in case if you would like to join me in any of the series or any particular book, you definitely can do that. So do please join me further in this video. written in front of me over here and I will be referring to it from here on so um, this video is going to be about my first summer reading project which would be the summer Academy of fairy tales so yes as you must have guessed um, it is all about fairy tales and a reading and it's an Academy of uh, fairy tales which means that it has to involve an Academy wherein fairy tales form the main um, plot point and uh, the protagonist as well as the other characters revolve around it so there are particular series which i have in mind which i would like to complete and uh, i will be mentioning about all of them here on so the first series that i plan on completing is the fairy tale reform school series by jen kalonita now this is a six part series and it uh, deals with um, a girl named jilly who has lots of brothers and sisters and they live in a broken down uh, boot house and uh, in order to en make ends meet Jilly has to struggle because she's the eldest of all now she is caught once uh, stealing and um, she is designated as wicked and in order to rectify her uh, she is sent off to a fairy tale reform school which is in an alternate world I believe uh, I'm not too sure but I believe it's an alternate world and there she goes and finds out that all her professors are the bad characters or the villains of fairy tales and it is up to the up to Jilly as well as the school curriculum as to how these fairy tale villains become once and future heroes so um, this is what the series is all about and uh, there are six parts in this series of course I'm not going to mention about all of them but I will be mentioning them in the description box below so if you are interested and should you like to join me for the series reading or if you would like to um, buddy read any one of them with me do please let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely pick out a date as well as uh, pick out a, sp a space where we can communicate and there we can discuss the book or i'll probably start a discord server in case if you are interested so that will be the first series that i'll be reading now the next uh, series that i will be reading or picking up will be the school of good and evil by sermon chanani now this is a series which i had attempted to uh, start and complete but unfortunately i could not do so so uh, last year the final part of the series has been released and there is also a netflix movie which has been released which uh, i have already watched and i enjoyed it uh, however i will be reading these uh, books individually and um, this series is basically the story of two friends uh, who are abducted from a village and they are um, selected as candidates for a school which has the good which um, graduates fairy tale characters as well as those evil uh, a school of evil which does have graduates who are villains so or fairy tale villains so um, the entire education is what it takes to be a fairy tale character and what it takes to be a villainous character and um, the um, characters of both these um, friends are somehow um, 
misunderstood and uh, by themselves and they are placed in schools which are opposite to what their expectations were. Now the school is run by two brothers who had been competing with each other and their ideologies were very different. So the entire magical school is based uh, on the um, histories of events as well as um, the let's say um, reforms which had happened because of the uh, two brothers and this is what the two friends have to journey and find out as to what exactly had happened between the two brothers who were supposed to be uh, headmasters uh, jointly for this particular school and um, how they uh, discover a part of themselves and how they grow in friendship and how they discover that they have been placed and selected in the correct schools as per what their uh, characters are and it's all about self-discovery and growing up so um, it's a wonderful series and that will be the next series that I'll be picking up the next series is the Royal Academy series by um, Jen Kalonita again. It's a trilogy and I'm not too sure what exactly the entire series encompasses but it's basically about um, uh, the um, rebels as well as um, how they um, try and uh, find out the uh, conspiracies which are taking place in a Royal Academy school and how they um, build their personalities and they become part of fairy tale characters uh, which may not be in the usual norm as we expect them to be so that's what this particular series encompasses the fourth series which i will be picking up is a trilogy and this is a trilogy by shannon hale and this is a princess academy series and uh, this encompasses uh, a girl who is um, quite a uh, homely a girl and she wants to live with her parents and she lives a very quiet life but uh, it is divined by the uh, royal court that uh, the future princess will be coming out from her village so um, all the girls in that particular village are um, forced into an academy uh, which is called the princess academy where they are trained to become a princess and they're supposed to compete and uh, it is what uh, this girl discovers about herself uh, so it's basically about self-discovery and what she faces as well as um, the conspiracies and uh, how she deals with them and how she makes her way through life so that will be the next in the series the next in the series is the fairy tale inheritance series and uh, this comprises of approximately seven to eight books, but I'll only be doing the first three. Uh, the first two are uh, based on Cinderella, uh, the fairy tale Cinderella, as well as there is a prequel to it as well. Uh, and uh, I'm not too sure who has uh, written this because uh, I probably could not get that. But yes, I'll be sharing more about that uh, in my future videos as soon as I complete them. So this will be basically based on the Cinderella series. And the last series that I'll be picking up will be The Land of Sto Stories by Chris Colfer. This is a six part series which deals about um, or, or it's all about uh, two boys who um, come to their grandmother's place and their grandmother hands them a, a fairy tale book and it so happens that they are um, pulled inside this world of fairy tales uh, however whatever they have heard about the characters within the fairy tale from their grandmother is very different from what they find in this world so uh, i'm not to show what exactly is encompassed in the six part series but then this is what happens in part one and then it follows subsequently so uh, i hope i will be able to get to this series because the um, ones which are um, before that are quite extensive but uh, i'm quite interested in um, this particular series as well so let me see how many books i can complete within this so those will be all the series that I'll be reading for a period of 150 days from 15th of April to the uh, 11th of September and I hope I'll be able to complete uh, a maximum of them and um, I did come across this idea. Uh, it was a creative idea and uh, it does uh, streamline my um, reading as well as uh, it also falls under my reading projects as well. Now most of these books are middle grade. I have chosen uh, to uh, not read YA or include YA fantasy. This is specifically middle grade and in case if you are interested in reading any of these books or uh, doing or reading any of the series along with me do please let me know in the comment section below and with that i'll be wrapping up this video i'll see you soon next week again with another video so till then take care have a good reading week ahead and namaste